This video is of a private pilot flight lesson in an OK3 OK Air Cessna 172 using our HD cockpit camera. Human traffic, Cessna 127, Kilo Whiskey's taxi from OK3 OK Air to Red White 2 1. Here. Over more ready for the pre takeoff checklist. At 10 degrees of flaps. Mixture getting set at best, best power. Pedo heat we do not need today. HSI is set to the compass. Doors and windows are closed and locked. Transponder will go to altitude. Uh, landing lights. Strobe lights. And we're ready to go. Let's do a... Okay, we're taxiing into position on runway 2-1. We've got just a bit of a crosswind from the right-hand side, so we'll position our controls accordingly. We're lined up, final gumps check. Fuels on both trim. Air carriage, mixture, power. Switches, seat belts, we're ready to go. Slowly and smoothly advance the power to full. Maintain runway centerline track. With the crosswind correction, and as the controls become effective, a little less. So the goal here will be to take off with one wing low, the downwind being up. There's a rotating speed, there's the wing, and we're airborne. Once we get airborne, coordinate the airplane, and we'll start a crosswind crab so as to track the runway straight out. At this point, we're going to just stay in the pattern. So what we're going to do is raise the flaps at about 200 feet AGL, which is about 5,800 feet MSL. There it is. Flap's going to come up. A little bit of a pitching moment. So we'll correct that with a little bit of turn. At this point in the pattern, we're looking for other traffic. And we're looking for a good altitude to start a crosswind turn, which is about five to 600 feet AGL, which we have. I'm going to begin our crosswind turn. Duty traffic, Cessna 127 Kilo Whiskey is turning across, went for 2 1 Heber, full stop. And at an appropriate distance from the runway, we'll begin our downwind turn. As you can see, it's, it happens pretty quickly. As soon as the wings are level on crosswind, essentially we're making our turn to downwind. Continuing our climb to 6,500 feet, which is the traffic pattern altitude. We take into account wind speed and direction for ground track to stay parallel with the runway on down. At 6,500 feet, make a power reduction. Maintain about 85 knots on our airspeed indicator. Then we'll go through our pre-landing checklist, which is the gumps check or the flow. So, gas is on. Undercarriage. We will use shortly. Mixture is set. Power. Switches. Seat belts. Landing checklist complete. 85 knots, 6,500 feet. And now we're being the number, so the power will come back. About 1,500 RPM. And in 10 degrees of flaps. And start a descent. So this is the attitude that you're looking for on the downwind leg after you've started your descent being the numbers. So at a 45 degree angle, we're going to start our base turn. Your city traffic system 127 Kilo Whiskey's turn base for 2 1. Here. Alright, we're looking for 75 knots and about somewhere between 5 to 700 feet on the VSI. Base, another notch flaps. Check final, final's clear. Continue our descent. On the final. We're gonna roll out just a little bit high. This is a, just about where I like it. A one red line on the VSI. And again, we have just a little bit of a crosswind, so you can see the crab. We're going to go full flaps. Looking for 65 knots. At a 
again, pitch to control, airspeed, power to control, glide slow. And you can see we're a little bit crabbed to the right. So just before now is crab out of there. Land one wheel first. And I was a little bit right of center line. Get it back on center line. Controls positioned into the wind. And that was one trip around the pattern at Heber. Thanks.